We have an extra frame here made of carbon fiber. That did some good damage, actually. I don't know if the camera can see it, but we'll get some more close-ups. Today, we are gonna check out how durable is Trex carbon fiber technology. Um, we have a leftover frame here. It is the Fuel EX 9.8, 9.9 frame set. And we're gonna find out how durable this is, how scratch resistant, how hammer resistant. We've already done some testing. We've hit it with big wrenches, we've scratched it. But now you get to watch back and cringe while we find out exactly how durable this stuff is. Just in case you've ever wanted a carbon fiber frame but have been too afraid to buy it. Also, don't have the aluminum frame from Trek in the Fuel EX, but we do have this old Marlin frame with a big dent in it and we can show you some comparable hits to that. All right guys, let's get to it. We'll start off with the light stuff. How durable is that paint? All right guys, so we have the frame set up here. We're gonna do a little bit of torture testing. Start off with something pretty standard, which is a little Allen key. You may have this around your bike quite often. Um, so we're gonna try that out. We've got the paint here. This is just running in across it. These all kind of just smudge off. Pretty easy to get rid of, which is nice. Like this is durable material. I'm hitting that with some good force. We got a chip there on the very edge. We got some chipping. So that's that. If you're tightening something and happen to slip, if you're tightening something and happen to slip, you probably have some good durability to it. As you can see, we've already torture tested this one to its limits. As you go up, you get into the screwdrivers. And as you can see, with a light rubbing, it's it doesn't really do much. Like it, it leaves a little light scuff mark, but it's gonna take a lot of years worth of abuse. If you put a little more pressure on it, you can get some of that clear coat to fail. Obviously, the knife leaves a nice good mark to it. But really, this is just damaging the top coat. Nothing's really getting through to this. Some minor damage from the screwdriver, knife, and that's all pretty good. As we pull up more, we get bigger, heavier tools. I'm kind of letting the weight fall down. It is giving a good hit, but we're getting little to no damage done here. Like, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with that. Like, it really is just superficial. This underside one, I'll flip back to. We hit really hard with an even bigger one. Ready? Oh yeah. Ooh. Maybe you hit it harder. Damn. That barely chipped the paint. Like, go for it. Ooh. Ooh that did some more damage. Some damage. But, oh yeah, the carbon's broke there. We're our old friend, the uh, rigid here. That's pretty good. I'm putting some good force into that. Like it's left that teeny little indent, but we're not really even into it. We'll skip right to the carbon fiber. Like, that's not bad. I was putting in a lot of force there. Like, that's a durable paint to it. We, uh, we've hit it with hammers. We've hit it with wrenches.
You really got to do a lot of force and it barely chips the paint off. Shows no evidence. Shows no evidence of real carbon fiber damage. All right, so let's put this in the vise and see how hard. Oh yeah. Honestly speaking, for how much noise it's making, it's holding up pretty good. We have a lot of paint chip on the unders. We have a lot of paint chip, but. It's rock solid. A minor amount of paint damage on the top side. On the top side, there's little to no damage. Like the paint's barely even crimped. The underside where it's rounded, paint's crimped, but like it's not even soft to the touch. Well, as you would expect, the angle grinder went through it fairly easily, um, but it made a clean section and like, honestly, I don't think I'd be afraid to ride it like this. It is rock solid. Honestly speaking, this thing is taking a beating. Um, the crush zone, I mean, the paint's damaged, but I think if I gave this to anyone and said I'd crushed it in a clamp as hard as I did, they wouldn't even know. The drill zones, I wouldn't be even too concerned. I wouldn't even be concerned about riding with those at all. The angle grinder cut through it pretty, pretty easily. I mean, it's an angle grinder. Um, took it out fairly easy, but structurally wise, I think I'd still be confident to ride on this. Um, I'm not too intimidated by it. The paint is honestly insanely durable. I mean, I don't even think it chipped the paint. Ready? Like you can see where I did it, but it literally just wipes off. Like good job Trek on this paint. This is honestly potentially where the money goes into is the paint, the durability of the carbon. Moral of the story is, if I took a hammer to an aluminum frame and did that, it would be dented horrifically each time carbon fiber can actually absorb that and kick it back or spread it throughout the frame and it won't do as much damage which you think would be wrong right but it actually does have some give and that's why you can't dent it as easily but you do hear those few horror stories where it snaps or something or like a, a pierce hole happens but as you can see it takes a hell of a lot to break one of these frames i was actually impressed there's not much more we can do except set it on fire, I guess. So I rinsed it down, there is a small amount of paint issue. Frame still rock solid. The carbon didn't burn. The paint melted a little bit and, and that's, that's about it. So hopefully this video helped you find out that carbon is actually a lot more durable than you think. 
I mean, I honestly put it through its paces. This is impressive. Good job, Trek. The paint is holding up excellent. The frame is ridiculously holding up. I honestly feel secure enough that I'd put this bike back together and ride it, but that's for another day. Yep. Yeah. That's a dent. That's a hell of a dent too.